So now I'm going to come back here and show you another feature of instance variables that is improved upon with properties. Notice that here, this is basic C style, a type, in this case it's a class name, followed by a variable. Those are the two parts of a declaration. When I come down here and start to use properties, I have, as you can see here, the ability to put in a type or class and the variable name, now the property name. But I also, within parentheses, can put in decorators that give the system an indication of how I want to manage this property. For example, I could say I want this to be read-only. I can show them that I want it to be using memory in a certain way. That's the meaning of the strong decorator. I can put much more into this type of syntax than I can into a simple class variable syntax, because the decorators can be expanded over time and more decorators can be added within the parentheses. So I'm going to take out the old style of ours and uncomment the properties. And now I have a new style set of declared properties. This is, remember, after all, the master detail application template. So here's what I have in the template for the .h file. I have some remnants in the implementation file of the way we used to manually handle declared properties. And the templates are gradually being adjusted to no longer use this style. But we have in this particular version, which was current as of the release of Mavericks, we have an indication of the old way of managing things, which is useful because I can show you how the instance variables that I just demonstrated for you really still live behind the scenes. Here we have for each of those declared properties, over here the manage object, context, model, and the persistent store coordinator, I have here a synthesized statement. Now this is, remember, a compiler directive that tells the compiler synthesize this property with a variable that by default has the name of the property preceded by an underscore. So I still have IVARs, instance variables, behind the properties. The properties provide a way of getting to those instance variables. And we used to have to tell the compiler to synthesize the property from this IVAR. And by default, this template, it used to be underscore and the name of the property, but it can be something else. So what we have now is this remnant of the past, and you can see I am still declaring instance variables with the information from the property, that is to say the class, and this is the variable, it's behind the scenes, and when I access the property name, I am going to this actual underlying instance variable, or what is sometimes called a backing variable. So we still have that, except it's hidden now. And since the final releases of Xcode 4 in 2012, what we have is the ability to omit the synthesized statements entirely. And by default, these are the synthesized statements created. If you want to use as a backing variable a variable with a different name, you do have to still use the synthesized statement. But those are special cases. So this is how properties encapsulate the information of instance variables which are never revealed to the public.